um, representing the Learning Landscape Project, a participative landscape intervention for our communities. So this is uh, our team and this draw reflects uh, two elements that are very important for us that are the engagement of the communities with nature in general. We work in a very small scale. So the first question is how can we learn from the landscape in general? Um, we want to take the learning experience not only to the schools, but also to public space and to share spaces. Um, and then we think how learning can be related to landscape. In, if we are in a classroom, maybe it is more easy to have an individual learning. Then we, we are in the playground. We have a group learning, but in the garden, we realize about the other life beings and that make us learn our, about our great and diverse context. So that is the reason why we, inter, we um, identify this nature, the nature as a, as a great uh, topic to work on. Um, so then how do we introduce this concept? Um, we use two key elements first, a built project that are micro interventions with community and then a virtual project that is creating virtual uh, and uh, like pictures like you can see that people can share via WhatsApp and um, in the school communities, for example, in the school groups with your classrooms, you can share that with the students. Um, so then can learn about the things that they are going to see in the learning landscape that we are building in real life. Um, this, for example, is part of a workshop that we do with the children via Zoom because everything is starting pandemic, but it is not uh, something that can stop learning from nature. So the nature that is really close to you is something that that we wanted to identify in that case. These are the two communities we have been working with. First of all, the Ricardo Palma community that it is in school last year. And then the Principal Asturias community that is a neighborhood in Lima. So for Ricardo Palma school, as you can see in here, uh, it's a very big space. And um, the thing that we did was to identify the nature elements in, and understand the context. What can we do with the trees? We want to create a path to connect all the things, connect all the experience and especially make, make the children to um, have a real experience in other spaces. Um, this, for example, is a view from a children perspective, a small walk through nature that can make possible, for example, something really simple, like seeing the trees, that before it wasn't possible because the place we work in was very dirty. And um, so this is something that we made with the school community. Um, the second case is for the Principal de Asturias neighborhood. Um, this is the place we were working on. And the same um, this is the same the same way to start. We try to say like, and um, okay, let's start with the nature. What can happen in here? If we engage with people, if we engage with little children, it is very possible that it is not going to come only the little children, but it will come with her sister or brother. It will come with her mother. So it is more something like a family activity to work and improve our communal spaces. And this is something we wanted to make through this time. And um, in this picture, you can see some volunteers, some neighbors and um, people in general. And so this is a little part of our process. Um, lately, we have been more um, making a little more a participative approach. Um, like for example, in some elements like the fence creation, um, you can see there the children that are painting. Um, and something that we really learned about this is that when you work with people, things can change a lot unexpectedly. Um, but it, however, can enrich your project a lot. So um, although we had a specific plan at the very beginning 
by working by people, we had to readapt our pro project very time, a lot of times. But it actually made us possible to make this process, like for example, starting like that, cleaning like that. And then this is one of the last pictures that we have. The project is not finished yet. This is a community orchard, but uh, this is what we have done so far. But uh, we really are convinced that an inclusive city uh, includes um, joins the, the elements of the nature in general and the other things, and also the engagement of the communities for creating these shared spaces, starting from the people itself. Um, that will be all. Thank you. Oh, you can follow us if you want to see our projects on the Facebook page. You can find us like that, Paisajes Educativos. Um, thank you very much for the opportunity here. <laughs>